I collected <laughs> um, b- b- Bible verses in both the Old Testament and in the New Testament <laughs> that goes against free speech. Yeah. Uh, that promotes oh, yeah. so goes against freedom in general by promoting slavery, uh, mm-hmm. and is definitely against equal opportunity. It's anti-woman, anti-woman rights, right? So you don't even have to go far. You don't have to go through the whole Bible. You can just go to the Ten Commandments. All of those problems <laughs> are right there in the Ten Commandments <laughs> yeah, itself, right. including punishing innocent children for the crimes, quote unquote, crimes of their parents. Right. And so they're even worse than that. Just focus on those Ten Commandments, which are terrible. Right. All the things that we value and that came out of the Enlightenment, the Bible has doesn't even just hint against being against it. Has specific verses that shows that the Bible stands against these values. I mean, I can't understand how anybody with, with a straight face could say these values comes from the Bible. Like, I don't even understand how this idea is so popular. Why is this? Idea? And it, well, I mean, if you look at the the main arguments for for segregation. In the American South, uh, when the country was trying to desegregate, the main arguments for it were religious, and they were rooted in the Bible. And you have these these preachers um, writing tracts and giving sermons about Jesus, the master segregationist, was the title of one of them. Uh, it's the same thing back at the Civil War. You know, there, there was a theological argument going on about whether or not the God of the Bible condones slavery. And the South had the way better side of that theological argument. Right. Terrible argument in terms of humanity and human rights and logic and reason. But when you're looking at the Bible, they certainly had the better side of the religious oh, argument. Okay. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons... We will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.